Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Raben Schild and today we will try to drop this rover onto the surface of Dune or Arrakis. People were, <laughs> people were, I, it seems, really happy with, with the outcome. There were a lot of suggestions to build stuff from one of the Dune things, the games, the, the movies, the books. It was, it was just great. And um, yeah, I made a rover to just get around for now. I need to maybe pack some things so that we can uh, try to establish a base. I thought somewhere here, um, people asked if I would build Arakeen or yeah, the, the f is it the fortress, fortress Arakeen. So the main seat for the for the lords of uh, arrakis um at we will always go for the good guys and uh go with <laughs> house Harkon no <laughs> with house atreides and i brought in the the vapor thing i talked about that in the last episode kind of close to the end so maybe some people didn't didn't catch that but we will bring that stuff in to get some ice so that we maybe can use some hydrogen there I, i'm not sure how we will do that people wanted to go and uh kind of expand to all the new planets that we have here and maybe go with it as for the whole dune series and have Caladan set up and um the the home of, of house harkonnen and all that stuff but i kind of want to keep it confined to this planet for now let us uh let us cut this loose and then we try to bring that down we again we have to bring some more stuff in i need to have uh, yeah, again, a base down there. We need some energy production and then maybe test out one of these uh, vapor things. Um, will be interesting. Will be interesting to see how that works. And one of the things that will be interesting to see is does this thing fly well with the rover attached? For now it does. So we should be able to just go down. Let me... Do I have some space still to maybe grab some things? I think I have. So let us just pack all this stuff in here. And I want to maybe grab everything for a wind turbine and a seed to, again, just establish something to land. Ugh. This ship doesn't have any okay let us set up a cargo container for now i have no way to get into this and so we might want to um grab some stuff out of here so we need ah come on a wind turbine um wind turbine so i'm <laughs> I'm a bit uh, because my it is it is too warm to record and um it's it's not nice at the moment um I have to close everything everything down here because the the neighbors are noisy right now again and uh what do I grab it doesn't grab anything it should be connected up to the rest of the base. So why is it not grabbing? Oh, do I not have enough materials to build the wind turbine? No, no, small, big blocks. And we go for the wind turbine. Maybe just one. And now are we able to... No, we are not. Why are we not able to grab that stuff? 
It's able to grab some pieces, but not everything, so... Hopefully... Now... Test it out again. It it could be the, the limitations. I always feel that the build plan is a bit limited in, in what it does. Oh, I need to sit back. It's just the worst right now. The weather is just killing me. Okay, what do we need? We need motors. We need construction components, girders, computers, interior plates. Okay, we will just grab that by hand see what we have here and that is that should be a lot of the stuff that we need or maybe some more girders some interior plates we'll go and bring some parts for maybe a battery i'm i'm so happy that you all really like the idea to build on this desert planet and i don't know how long i can and want to stay here again the 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 projects that came up and the ideas that came up i really liked everything around around the the dune idea is just amazing and th there were more ideas um people said i should maybe build some stuff out of Adelaine's book, for example. That was a suggestion that came in. And I have to say that's something um, I don't want to do. So for one, it is definitely not my style and I just don't want to uh, copy what she's doing. And um, it's, it's a great idea because she is doing really really cool builds but again i i don't want to infringe on 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 what she's doing there and then don't know maybe uh maybe go too crazy about building this oh, okay i need tubes do i have enough Okay, I have um, that. I, I don't know that that doesn't that doesn't feel right to me. Um, the the other things again. There were some some color ideas to go with Ordos colors and from the real time strategy series and. All good, all good idea. But again, I I would like to build stuff in, don't know, in when it comes to that, I would like to stick to the, to the Artredes. And <laughs> it seems to be a lot nicer than to, to do what the, what the, the mischievous Ordos do. Well, come on, ship, what are you doing? So, okay. I hope... Oh, no. It's... Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. We have the problem that the ship kind of uh, tilts upwards when I want to go forwards. That's not the best thing. Let me see if... If we can speed it up and then just continue to move forwards. The the vector thrust chips don't deal well with things strapped to their bottom um, because they rely on the center of mass. So everything needs to be relatively close. So the, the thrusters need to be relatively close to the center of mass uh, in, their, in their axes kind of. And when you strap something below it, the center of mass gets yeah really whacked out of place. I kind of tried to bring the rover into the center of mass, at least when it comes to downwards thrust. So I hope that we can that we can just uh, 
cheese it a bit, drop the rover off, land the ship. And hopefully without a crash, because uh, that would be bad. Why? Okay, I have the these thrusters turned on. That's not good, because if I want to use the cruise mode, these thrusters are just... Come on. These thrusters don't work well with that. Okay, let me go down to the surface. Can you see that up top? I have added myself a compass. That's something I'm really missing sometimes. And I found one and thought that's not the worst idea to have one. Um, also, I added a mod that might be controversial, but I added a mod that makes hydrogen in thrusters work a bit better with a bit more efficiency because I would like to use more hydrogen thrusters without having to constantly deal with uh, topping them up. I have the feeling that they just run out of, of fuel far too fast and it would be nice to kind of get around this. Uh, we can see this as the Epstein upgrade uh, of the hydrogen thrusters because that's one of the major things about the Epstein drive. It it conserves fuel and you need really less fuel. <laughs> so <laughs> we can we can maybe we can maybe go with that explanation for that. It's it's I I don't know how much better it, it, it's not crazy too crazy. It's not hundred times better. I think it's six or eight times more fuel density kind of um, because we need some thrusters for example for if we want to build a carry-all we definitely need thrusters for that uh, we could go with modded thrusters but maybe we can test out how the hydrogen thrusters fare and would like to see that if, if don't know if if it doesn't work or it doesn't matter or something like that, then we can throw that out. It's just something I definitely want to test for now. Um, was there something else? I just like to inform the people, but I'm, I'm not sure. We might want to take a look at the surface. The people had good ideas for these orange patches because that definitely looks like a spice, uh, like a, uh, an area where there's a lot of spice. So we should build a harvester to definitely uh, harvest that. Why shouldn't we? And people were adamant that I need to build a harvester that resembles one of the spice harvesters. So. We, we might just scrape the surface and then we have to see how that works out. I'm, I'm not sure if, if how we would do that because scraping the surface kind of um, is a bit problematic because you need to start somewhere and then you kind of grind yourself a, a step down or something like that. We will have to see how that how that works out. I'm I'm pretty sure we can we can do something. Another decision is with what style do we go? go? Um, the first Doom game I ever played, for example, the RPG strategy thing had kind of the harvesters looked a bit like the like the harvesters from Command and Conquer, the first one. And in the, I think, Dune RTS series, Dune 2000 and the Dune 2 and all that stuff, they they looked also a bit different. And then we have these, these half-sphere um, harvesters from the Dune movie, the, the 86 Dune movie. So will be interesting, I say. And there's also a lot of carry-all styles. The... the the coolest would be the the kind of triangular triangular shaped long carry all from the the Atex do movie. Um, we have to achieve this. And people said 
Ornithopter. And that's something I definitely have planned out. That's something I want to, not planned out, but that's definitely something I, I'm planning to build. Ornithopter, and we built one with wings. We will have to see how we can make them moving. That's something I never did. And there we will cheese it a bit. We will go with some modded thrusters, maybe the gravitic manipulators, because having flapping wings doesn't doesn't work in space engineers. Okay, let me go down to the surface. I'm talking for far too long. And um, then we uh, start to build a bit of a small home down there and take a look if the rover works well. It keeps up relatively well, but you can see as soon as I try to thrust forward, then we run into a problem. But going down should work out fine. Let us go a bit further down and then we drop that thing. Can we see our shadow? Yes, we can. I hope nothing goes goes too crazy now. Um, if we drop that off eight, that worked out fine. Okay, let us land and grab the rover, and then we kind of see how this thing how this thing behaves. I'm not sure if I need to talk to my neighbors and say maybe keep it down a bit it's although it's over the day i have the feeling that i shouldn't have to whoa okay it buckles like crazy and maybe the the wheels on the side were not a good idea that's a mod i installed because i wanted to have these double stacked wheels it doesn't seem to work as fine as I thought. So maybe just let us just get rid of these again. And now, yeah, that that works a lot better. Okay, we drive that to somewhere there. I kind of want to park in the shadow. Here, by the way, you can see that the, the area is not too well suited for anything too crazy big. Um, not sure how to deal with this, but the having crazy big rovers might not be... Why? Why, 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 why? Uh, okay. That was just... Why? thing. Why, why, why? The connector broke off. Let me bring in the ship and then we flip it around. I don't have gyros on there. That is maybe not the best idea. Uh, someone said I should I should step uh, with irregular steps because that keeps the worms at bay. Man, man, man. Okay, where is it? There. I should have enough materials to at least make a small gyro. That should work out, or... Okay, come on. Bring that down. Some of you might have seen that, that I was able to build a vector thrust on a vector thrust ship on uh, Funland, on the server. I always wanted to test that, if, if that's something that would work. And it works. I was pretty happy to see that um, the server seems to be at least stable enough to, to run this script. Okay. Come on. What else do we need? Motors, computers, steel plates. Okay, come on. Motors, computers, and some more steel plates. And then 
we hopefully are able to just live it over. Come on. Yes. Good. Um, can we keep the gyro on here? Can we keep that turned on? I think we can. Okay, come on. Little guy. No, 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 no. Oh. Wow, is it so bumpy here? Yeah, it is. See that? The the ground is really, really bumpy. Yeah, something with maybe bigger wheels would have would have done a better job here. Hmm, not sure. Maybe we can modify that later. So, parking in the shadow here should be the best place for it. Now let's bring in the ship. And then we start to figure out at least a small base again. And not nothing too crazy, but a space where I can bring in things. And drop some stuff off. And again, we, we might want to build the ornithopter down here. Okay, should I go up? the hillside there or can we stay here i think we can stay here i will drill out everything that doesn't fit into into our concept here okay drop that and then let's grab some uh, steel plates again maybe some interior plates we get rid of this some interior plates and we have that. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's a nice cliff face. We can kind of work into that and build the 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 palace out in front of it. And maybe have enough space here for uh yeah, something like landing pads and stuff like that. Uh could be a relatively big area so let us see four and then we align that gravity line mode is active so bring that up to here and then we first just build a bit of a pad so that we maybe can bring the ship down here and can drop off stuff this this is kind of like the the start on on every other world i have the feeling just go in build your first blocks build a wind turbine if you have atmosphere otherwise go with otherwise go with a with a solar panel maybe this is just the best okay now the ship might need to be a bit closer. I don't want to run all the time. Bring the front towards this thing. <laughs> now, now I see the 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 crazy difference in the see how big the how big the lander craft is and how small I I started out here. It's if you if you start out a game, then I don't know, size your stuff. Go don't go too crazy. Uh this has I think eight or ten cargo containers. You don't need that. Go with less. Bring in the stuff and slowly build up. If you go to another base, then maybe also start... What is that? I don't have air traffic installed. Ooh, okay, I need to take a look at that. That is something... I don't know where that is coming from. Okay, good. We have power established. That's always the first step in everything 
we should do. Okay. Let us build up this, then a seat, because that's the easiest way to grab some power right now. I will make another trip in a second and uh, bring in some other stuff, but for now that's the easiest way. And we can open our we can open open our uh, helmet. That's also something because there's atmosphere here. I mean, that you always forget that. If you come to a planet like this, you might run into the problem that you just don't think about that. This thing has atmosphere, so why should we not open our helmets here? Okay. I will make that bigger, then weld that up, land the ship on there, bring in the rover close to it, and then we should be good. I might not have enough steel plates for this. No, I don't. So we need to bring these in. Bring the rover in. And yeah, we should think about maybe changing the wheels out because that... These might be too... This ride must seems to be just too bumpy to... to deal with it. Why is it that way? See that? Okay, there's... There's crazy ridges in the surface. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think of that. So, we might have to change the rover for this. Good. Let me grab some more materials from the ship. I will bring that back. And then we kind of build out our platform here. And, uh, don't know. Then we see what else we need to do. Coming in for the landing, I had to move the rover out a bit because I forgot something. The rover has no other power source than solar panels and small at that at that thing. And one is also lost. I had some. I need to bring in some parts so that I can repair that. And I had to leave him out in the sun for now. We will have to see that that might have to change, but um, once we have the ability to maybe, don't know, add reactors or connect it up, we could, what we could do down here is one thing I would still like to try. I never really got into the liquid, uh, the liquid batteries, and that's something we might want to go into. Ooh, okay. What do we have here? Solar cells, computer. We don't need a lot of them. Just a few. Just let me grab this. This can stay back here. Computers. I had some, but okay. Good. That is done. That thing can reload here for a bit. Uh, see, we... Still have only fully depleted in four days. I don't know where all the power is going to. Maybe it is. I have turned off the ore detector and the antenna. Cockpit doesn't take a lot. Might be the survival kit. Required input 15. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah, it's... It's that. Okay, we need to we need to address that at one point. But first, I want to uh, build more on uh, the station. I will build up the tower a bit. Put some more uh, put some more wind turbines on here, and then we test out one of these ice things. Um, I want to see how much energy or the the i know that the energy will be a lot for the ice generation but um i want to see how much it really is and then we bring that up a bit more wind there's another ship flying through here um five megawatt wind turbines that will also come in i'm pretty sure 
Uh, I found out on the server that they don't seem to be well suited for servers or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure if that's true. I'm just speculating. Um, because it seems that as soon as a normal wind turbine is placed, it produces power and that stays that way. And it seems that uh, even offline servers, offline things recognize that. Um, for this wind turbine, and again, that's all speculation, I had the feeling it doesn't do that. Um, not sure if that's the case, but uh, I want to combine a bit. But having wind turbines down here seems to be a good way to dealing with stuff. Okay. Let us grab some motors. And we can put this stuff away. Motors, more motors, construction components, maybe some interior plates. Um, let us use that up. Girders, okay, girders. Will be placed. More interior plates. And girders. That is doable. I brought basically everything down here that the ship had. Uh, except for the, the resources. So I didn't bring down any... What girders? And interior plates. Um, I didn't bring down any ingots or something like that. Uh, we will search for ores on the surface and see what we can find here. And also... Um, I don't know. We, we, we will have to see how that works out. I'm. It's always kind of like a new start and I'm, I'm always happy to kind of do that. Let me grab one of the vapor things so moisture evaporator that's what we want to test i hope this thing still works we need steel plates okay that is doable i hope this thing still works and we don't uh, run into any issues here there is others that i can test this one is just the the first one that that came up so okay we don't need girders for this we need maybe some construction components that's usually the stuff we need some motors and then that's all done large steel tubes small steel tubes computers not expensive that thing that's good so we can maybe have I don't know more of them uh, what was that? Large steel tubes, small steel tubes. Doesn't look nice. Okay. Already produces ice. Not a lot. But maybe that's okay. 400 kilowatts. It's basically just one wind turbine. Okay, then I think we can we can deal with it. Oh, we can upgrade this thing. Use upgrade module slots. Oh. So if we place another one next to it, so this. Yeah, okay. If we place another one next to it, we could have one of these things with a motors and construction components. Motors. Some of these, some of these. And what could we do? Yield? Is there any atmosphere density one? Okay, Q, empty. It produces 
Inventory out? Is that what it produces? 0 0.07 liters? Productivity, effectiveness, power efficiency. So the problem is what is that? Is there new upgrades? Maybe that brought in new modules. Was it, what is it? Efficiency, yield, speed. Doesn't seem that way, or? Atlas weapons. Can we see? Who made this? No. Losing my voice. It's, <clears throat> it's just the worst. The, the weather is not is not something I can I deal really well with. Did you, uh, not that, not that. Atlas weapons, window block, display, la la la, easy z. It seems it is nothing that ha has its own category. Could be oh there. Production blocks. The moisture vapor pulls water from the surrounding atmosphere and a fair amount of power to function. Fair amount is... 400 kilowatts is not a lot. Uh, let us test one of the modules. I'm not sure if I can build that up right now. The question is yield? Should we go for yield or speed? I think I will go for yield and see if it... If it brings in more stuff, small steel tubes, and uh, we have that, and we have that too. Where do they come from? I think I have the air traffic off, so I'm I'm kind of stumped by the fact that their effectiveness one hundred nine percent. That's not a lot. That's not a lot to... No, that's... That's done. Maybe speed? Can we get that in? But that might take more ammo than... Uh, ammo. More... Uh, energy. I know it has to share computers it has to share that's one of the things maybe but just nine percent uh, uh, just an upgrade of nine percent that's not a lot 150 sounds a lot better now the question is three that did something not a lot but that did something um we will have we will have to put up more of these definitely but it seems that is good they work that's a good thing uh we have power going down here um we kind of have to leave the rover out there for a while the ship doesn't need that so now i can kind of start out building something and when i'm done with that or i will do that over the weekend and we go on with that next uh next monday then i want to start building the ornithopter and because it, it i'm not sure this could be a project that that requires a lot of finagling um we will see how that works out i'm i'm absolutely not sure i can't do any crazy stuff with it the, the ornithopters in the game for example i play they they fold their wings back in i'm i'm not willing to do that I, I don't want to go too crazy with it but what i definitely want to have is flappy wings we will see how that works out good people um i i know it doesn't look like much but the base is kind of established so now we can uh, i can continue to work down here and uh, bring in stuff and start to uh, maybe have a bit of a, a few connections going on so that I can 
um, connect up the ship and don't have to draw everything out by hand and then we start to work into the mountain and onto the mountain um, the design of the arcane is also very very different in all the in all the sources I could see so <laughs> we'll have to see you um, people also wanted me to build a siege somewhere and that might be might be a good plan uh, have the hidden sieges of the Fremen and it's it's interesting we can we can spin uh, a lot of builds around the theme of dune itself and so maybe that's a maybe that's a thing that that keeps us here for a while um i kind of want to get away from the color scheme uh, the usual gray color scheme i use we need to go into that and i need to find some nice colors for what i'm building here um I want to go with a lot of sandy brownish stuff, but also uh, integrate red and maybe um, don't know. Take a take a look what we what we can build there and what what fits really well because I don't know. It it would be nice to not have all the the gray spots around on the planet. I like this place. I really like this place. Having the the mountain walls kind of surround us and it it makes this whole thing feel safe. <laughs> Good. People, uh, I would say that's all for today. Hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please leave a like on the video. Um, yesterday we did a stream. Maybe take a look at that too. Uh, was pretty nice. I did some crazy drilling project that I wanted to finish, and uh, Ramethep did some more module drops. It was really interesting. The vods should be on his uh, Twitch channel too, so that would be hopefully that might be interesting to you. I usually stream on Thursday. Um, have to see if. That changes at one point, but that's the usual stream day for me and for Amethap. So, uh, would really like to see you there at one point. Um, yeah, then uh, take a look at uh, all the all the description. Yeah, the description. There's links to Twitter. I don't use that a lot, but you. Not sure if you still can see the videos there, but uh, there's also Patreon that always helps me out and. Um, people i would say that's all for today uh hope to see you in the next episode i would say see you guys